power. So, to the group of Mr. Okechuku and Ms. Chinyere, I would like to give you a very uh, detailed training on how to position your accounts and how to position the accounts of your downline and how to properly place downlines once or before they join. First of all, first of all, when you have a new downline, when you have a new uh, registered downline, always ask. Ask them if they want one head, three heads, or the maximum which is seven heads which is much better than the first two because we know that seven heads will give you the maximum potential earning instead of just having one or three heads so ask your downline when they join ask them and so you will know if they can buy seven heads or they can buy three heads first or if they don't have money they can start one head but don't stop there because this is only the first step this is one head three heads and seven heads always ask never assume never assume for example uh, this person uh, he, is, he is already rich. He don't need the business. That's why I won't push seven heads because he is already he or she is already rich. It's okay just one head because he or she is rich. That is wrong because never assume or never judge. Or for example, the opposite. Oh, my, my downline, this downline, he is, uh, he is poor. Uh, he or she doesn't have a job. Uh, he or she can't afford uh, seven heads. That's why uh, only one head. I won't push. I won't show him or her the seven heads. Never assume. Don't do that. Because once you do that, you are already judging the event. You are already judging the person. What if that, that man or that woman can make a way to afford seven heads but you didn't tell him or her that's why she doesn't have or he doesn't have an idea right or for example that rich person maybe is bankrupt or maybe that rich person is having financial problems but you didn't share you did not share seven heads that's why he only had one head but he has many connection so never assume never never assume always ask if they want one head three heads or seven heads after you ask this is okay after you ask what's the next thing to do the next thing to do is this first ask then number two is show Show them the difference of one head. Show them the difference of three heads. And show them the difference of seven heads. Always show them and present to them. Present them one head, three heads, or seven heads. Before you leave, before you let the newly registered downline to go home, before you let him or her go, Please present because his or her excitement will also depend whether he or she understands one head, three heads, or seven heads. You, Mr. Okechuku, you have seven heads, right? You, you also have many heads, not only one. Also, Ms. Chinere, uh, she also has not only one head. I think you, both of you, has around seven heads, both of you, right? Around 15 heads. So, imagine your downlines having that the same structure also. You will have a limited energy and momentum because your downlines is more motivated because the money, 
they put in the business is big. Sometimes our downlines doesn't push that hard the products or the business because they already felt that the business is a small business, a small time. Why? Because they only joined one head. But if they joined seven heads, 15 heads, 31 heads, for sure they will never stop because they put big business therefore they put big effort big commitment big sacrifice to have big results so after you show seven heads give them tips on how to do the business for example for example your downline can afford only one head oh mr okachuku i don't have money i can only afford one head what should i do so first you ask and then you show show what one head will look like one head so this is your downline so this is your downline so if he or she is only capable of joining one account explain this to him or to her you have two sides you have the left and the right side and what he or she needs to do is you will not close both sides you will leave one side of your sales force open which is the open slot will give opportunity for your downline to add accounts for example your downline can only afford one account all downlines should be placed on the left side downline number one is left side downline number two is left side again don't put downline number two here although it's 33 dollars don't put it because once you put number two in here you will have no other chance your downline has no chance to add accounts and he or she will just get lazy because he doesn't have an open slot to add accounts if another downline will join put it under number two always put your downlines at one side if he or she can afford only one account and when after and then after a month ask your downline again downline can you afford another account please add one more account then maybe when he or she has the budget you can add one more account and then this is another downline this is downline number two this is your downline number one and this is the head number two of your downline and you will place downlines in here also on the left side so you will leave one side open for head number three this is the scenario for one head so i hope this is clear mr okachuku and explain this to your downlines don't leave them hanging once they join one account so next what if they join three accounts so what will happen so they join three accounts oh upline okachuku i only have this enough money to join i can afford three accounts or three heads so this is the scenario head number one head number two and don't place head number three in here this is wrong wrong don't do that why because you will close again the sales force under your downline so instead of putting this in this side put number three in this side focus on one side first so this is the right way so focus in here so left side and right side this is three heads of your downline placed in one side to build momentum to build the right team and then he or she will place downline in here downline one Downline 2, Downline 3, Downline 4, and so on and so forth. And ask again, Downline, can you afford another account? 
After one month, after two months, yes, apply na kay Chuku. I will add one account and then place it here. So you now have four accounts. Your downline can now add. And then uh, five, six, and seven until they already know and they already built the seven accounts. Again, I repeat, if your downlines can't afford seven accounts, show them three accounts and place it this way. Don't place it in here. So, this is the right positioning and before you encode your downline, uh, ask them if they understood one head, two heads, or three heads. Because sometimes, our prospect don't ask because they get shy. They don't have idea on the business. It's up to us, our uplines, to know what is their benefit, what will be the good once they join the business. So I suggest, Mr. Okechukwu, that all your downlines, although I know some of them, you said they don't have money to add accounts, always push them to go for seven. Go for seven heads. Always push them to go for seven heads. If they don't have seven heads, three heads. One, two, three. If they don't have seven heads, four heads. If they don't have four heads, they don't have three heads, two heads. If they don't have one, if they don't have two heads, one head. And place all downline in here. This will be the slot for you to add your accounts. So this is my few tips for you, Mr. Okachuku and Ms. Chinere and to all your downlines please please and be responsible for your downlines once they join don't just leave them one account and then three accounts and then just leave them or seven accounts always ask them and show them the benefit of seven heads so we want you to become millionaires club we want you to become car achievers we want you to become global ambassadors in nigeria that's why we're talking about this stuff. That's, that's why we're making videos for you because we are serious in this business and we want you to become result-oriented leaders in Nigeria. So, hope you enjoyed this and you learned a lot of this from this video. So,